Soga is one of those nondescript and unassuming plants that escape notice until you realize that it's overtaken your garden. Some internet sites list it as a noxious weed, but others feature it as a tasty edible. Hard to believe they're talking about the same plant. Is this a weed or a wizard? Let's find out. This member of the sunflower family is one of the few native plants from tropical America that's been able to adapt to the colder climates of North America and Europe. It was named in honor of the Spanish botanist Mariano de Galansoga, who brought the plant from the Americas to his homeland. Since this name is complicated to remember, some call it Gallant Soldier or gallon of soda. I prefer the name quickweed because a single plant can produce over 7,000 seeds. These germinate as soon as they're released, so there are several generations each season, which makes it one of the most prominent weeds of midsummer. Although it's an annual, it acts like a perennial because some of the seeds survive the winter and then sprout in the spring. Small plants begin to appear in early May and can reproduce up until the first light frost. Unfortunately, it prefers rich soil and plenty of sunlight, conditions perfect for the typical garden. Luckily, it's easy to pull up. Dirt often clings to the roots, so I shake it off. Quickweed is easy to overlook since it grows no higher than 10 inches. Leaves are opposite and are about two inches long with tipped points. Both leaves and stems are slightly hairy. The flowers look like stunted daisies. Their white petals are widely spaced, almost as if someone had started to pluck them, chanting, he loves me, he loves me not, but stopped before they were done. Like most wild plants, quickweed is high in fiber and beta-carotene, protein, and other nutrients. Juice from the leaves has been used to stop bleeding or to treat nettle stings, so it can't be all bad. Plus, it's edible. Many people would be surprised that this weed, which is despised here in North America, is one of the key ingredients in ajiaco, a complex chicken soup that's the national dish of Colombia, South America. It's a rather complicated recipe, so I won't be showcasing it here. Directions to make it can be found on several websites. South of the border, quickweed is known by the name guascas. I use quickweed in much simpler ways. Often, I sprinkle a few flowers on my salads. Leaves can be eaten raw, but they are slightly hairy. Cook them for 10 minutes to reduce their hairiness. Always pick more than you need because they shrink down. They attract dirt, especially after a heavy rain, so be sure to wash them thoroughly. You can also dry the leaves and then add them to soups or salads. Sometimes I'll combine the leaves with other ingredients for a tasty side dish. In a pan, put two cups sliced mushrooms, two crushed garlic cloves, and four tablespoons sliced onion. Saute until tender. To this mix, stir in a half a cup mushroom gravy and one cup cooked, finely chopped, quickweed leaves, which is equal to about five cups uncooked ones. Then sprinkle with salt and pepper to taste, warm up, and serve. These leaves are more appetizing when put into creamy mixtures like this. You may be surprised at who might want to try it. Here in North America, quickweed is considered a pest. Yet other cultures treat it with respect. 
perhaps we can look beyond its bad reputation and learn to appreciate what it can offer us. Wild, wild weeds. See you around, man. Weeds grew, man. Yeah. Hey, look there. You got some growing pains out there, man. <laughs> hey, you think we're gone? We're doing our tour of the weed wave.